So here we have a question where we're given two points in three-dimensional space. There's three coordinates, x, y, and z. Two points A and C, and we're told that B divides the line joining A to C in the ratio 1 to 2, and we're asked to find the coordinates of point B. So there's the point A, and there's the point C. 1, 3, negative 2, and 4, negative 3, 4. Two points in space somewhere. And the line joining them is divided by point B, so that that's one bit, and this length will be two bits, the ratio 1 to 2. And we're asked to find what point B is. So lots and lots of ways of doing this, but let's pick the obvious one, where the journey from B to C is twice the journey from A to B. Our direction's the same as A to B, the distance is twice A to B. So, journey from B to C, twice the journey from A to B. Now, let's move origin somewhere. Let's move into position vectors, which is how you get to these points from the origin. So, the result is that if you're travelling from A to B in terms of position vectors, that's B minus A. And if you're travelling from B to C in terms of position vectors, that's C minus B. And we now have a piece of algebra to do in effect, even though they're vectors, they behave like normal letters in algebra would do. We can get rid of the brackets, 2B minus 2A is equal to C minus B. Now remember it's B we're trying to find. How would you get from the origin to B? If we knew that, we'd know its coordinates. So we need to solve this for B. So let's get B on the left hand side. Let's add B to both sides. That would give us 3B. And let's add 2A to both sides. And before we do anything else, let's just see what these uh, components of these vectors are. Component of little c, how do you get from the origin out to the point c? Well, you go 4, negative 3, 4. So it's 4, negative 3, 4. That's the components of the journey from the origin out to the point c. Plus, twice... And what are the components of vector A? Origin out to A, 1, 3, negative 2. 1, 3, negative 2. Now let's work out the right-hand side components. Let's take the x components, 4 plus 2 lots of 1. That's 6. Y components, negative 3 plus 2 lots of 3. That's negative 3 plus 6. That's 3. And the z components, 4 plus 2 lots of negative 2. That's 4 plus negative 4. That's 0. Now, if that's 3 times vector b, then that must mean that vector b is one third of 6, 3, 0. Which means it's 3, sorry, 2, 1, 0. So to get from the origin out to the point B, we travel two parallel to the X, one parallel to the Y, and we don't go up the Z axis at all. So we've gone 2, 1, 0. That will arrive, we'll arrive at the point 2, 1, 0. So that's the coordinates of the point B. So B is the point 2, 1, 0. Now let's look at part B. We're told that some number times AC is a vector of magnitude 1. And we're asked to find K. So let's find out what the magnitude of vector AC is. First of all, let's see what we do travelling from A to C. So again, position vector C minus A. Components of the vector c from the origin out to this point would be 4, negative 3, 4. 
minus vector a, position vector of a, that's 1, 3, negative 2. x components, 4 minus 1 is 3. y components, negative 3 minus 3, negative 6. 4 minus negative 2, that's 4 plus 2, that's 6. Now the magnitude of that vector then, remember the magnitude you square root and you square this, each of them and add the results. So square root of 3 squared plus negative 6 squared plus 6 squared. That's the square root of 9 plus 36 plus 36. Now 36 plus 36, 72 plus 9 is 81. The square root of 81 is 9. So the magnitude of AC is 9. And if we're wanting the magnitude to be equal to 1 after we've multiplied by some number, then that number surely will have to be a ninth. Because 1 ninth times 9 will give you 1. A ninth of the magnitude of AC, which is 9, a ninth of 9 will give us 1. So K is a ninth.